Und weiter geht's. Da hinten steht doch der Napoleon, oder? Zwischen den Büsche. So Jacques Perru. Sorry, sir, but you cannot go through. We have very clear instructions from Lord Mortimer. Monsieur Perru must rest. Sehr verdächtig. Sie den da ruhig gestellt haben. I thought you were to someone else. Impossible to tell with you people. Yes. Your nee. yes is not sufficient. Tell the others for crying out loud. Remember to close my window once you've done my room. This isn't Corsica, you know. I'm freezing. Of course, sir. I'll see to it straight away. Good. Proceed. Yes, sir. Monsieur Bonaparte. Sorry, Dorichet. I have no time for traitors such as yourself. I beg your pardon? If you are here, it's because Lord Mortimer agreed to include you. And what's the first thing that you do? You betray him by following Sir Gregory and bending over backwards to turn Washington against him. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I was free to vote as I pleased. I didn't realize I had to vote for Lord Mortimer in order to show my gratitude toward him. Hey, he invited me here to come and look for my missing mother during his high society party. I'm sorry, truly sorry. I don't know all your customs yet. It's just common decency that when invited to a man's castle, you don't go and to pee on his boots. Is it too much to ask? I guess it is. Naja, wenn seine Pläne nicht so suspekt wären und er irgendwie vorher mit einem drüber geredet hätte und nicht einfach zwei Minuten vorher sagt, ja, stimme jetzt mal dafür, wird schon alles irgendwie geil sein, was ich will und so. Dann wäre er vielleicht auch ein bisschen vertrauenswürdiger. So ist das definitiv nicht. Der Mortimer. Wöllner war ich schon. Dann gehen wir mal in das ominöse, nicht beschriftete Zimmer. Ach, das ist das von Elizabeth. Richtig, das gab es ja auch noch. Vielleicht hat sie sich auch selber umgebracht. Das weiß man ja auch mal nicht. Die war ja schon ein bisschen daneben, ne? Das sind die Briefe, die kennen wir schon. Neues. Das Washingtons Zimmer. Tja, sind wir mal so weit durch, wie es aussieht. Ja, das war das Kardinal und dann ist das Mainz. Next time, I'll listen to my mother. Not a day has gone by without something happening to me. Die Mutter ist aber genauso wenig vertrauenswürdig, weil die, die erklärt halt nichts, die sagt nichts und verlangt irgendwie strange Sachen und einfach blindes Vertrauen. Open up, please. Idiot coming, Mr. President, I'm coming. <coughs> Louis, oh, there you are at last. Yes, I... I just saw your mother. She was accompanied by Emily, and they both went into the Duchess's room. I tried to join them, but I was refused entry. Louis, this does not bode well. Oh, shit. Emily might want to avenge her sister. I must act quickly. You're right, Mr. President. Thank you. Oder er hat Emma gesehen. Das weiß man nicht. Laufen natürlich in die falsche Richtung. Ist ja klar. Einen langen Weg. Ah, das jetzt wieder. Auf jeden Fall irgendwo, wo die großen Treppen hochkommen. 
Ah, was hier? Oder auch nicht. Da hinten sind auch nochmal Treppen. Peru. Napoleon, na, dann. Ah, das da könnte es gewesen sein. Genau, hier kommt die Treppe hoch. I do believe that's Emily's voice. I can't understand what she's saying. Knock at the door, sicherlich nicht. Ja, easy. I can't open it. It must be blocked on the other side. I'll have to find another way in, quick. Irgendwie so ein Nachbarraum, wo ich dann übers, über den Balkon hinkomme. Oh. Auf der Seite nicht so ohne weiteres. Key is still in the lock on the other side. That means I won't be able to pick it. Or I could do as I did the last time in the tower room. I wonder if I can get the key by pushing something underneath and making it fall. Ich bin Zettel. It's a beautiful weapon. A lovely damask blade. It's marked with the initials of the manufacturer in Versailles. Conviction Immunity. Oh, gut zu wissen. A map. This should do the trick. Perfect. This card should do the trick. Slowly, Louis. Nice and slow. Fällt auch gar nicht auf drin, ne? Also außer die sitzen drei Räume weiter. Uh. Must act fast. Aber diese Coins, ich freue mich immer, dass ich einen Trank finde und dann ist bloß so ein blöder Coin. Golden Alex hier, freue ich halt auch nicht in der Menge. My dear Napoleon, as previously agreed, I would like to ask you to join us in January on my island to participate in the high society meeting organized for the occasion. We shall be able to continue our discussion about our project for a new order for France. I have a proposition to make to you concerning your wish to put a strong leader at the head of France. I trust you to be discreet as to your coming. See you soon. Lord William Mortimer. Hmm. Okay, also ich kann da wahrscheinlich über den Balkon gleich weitergehen, aber das erklärt auch, warum sein Tür-Action hier keine Aufmerksamkeit auf sich zieht. Crystals. French actor Talma ist Nero in Britannicus. The last emperor of the Caesar-Dynasty. 
Hat auf jeden Fall die Gemälde sehr passend zu den Gästen gewählt. Das muss man ihm lassen. Okay. Okay, das müssen die anderen Räume alle sein. Deswegen sind die wahrscheinlich alle zu. Genau. Auf der anderen Seite müsste dann... Emilys Zimmer kommen. Wo bin ich jetzt rausgekommen? Aus dem hier? Aus dem? Ich habe, glaube ich, drei Türen gecheckt. Genau, da müsste ich aus dem hier rausgekommen sein. Ja. Okay, die Tür daneben ist einfach dasselbe Zimmer nochmal. Alles klar. Und dann haben wir hier... Wir haben dieses Zimmer. Überraschung. Hm. It's as if there are several people inside. Once again, you're the one who's the victim in all this. What are you on about now? I should never have told you what happened to me. That's how it works, and you know it full well. I'm not that naive. I know a letter from William Pitt, the Stop. elder, addressed to we'll Emily. He was the English won. Prime Minister. It's Queen Charlotte. All the royal family of England is there, from what I can tell. Two coils circle the lock. Dear Gregory, thank you for the information. I've managed to find out about the names you gave me. George Washington is a man you can trust. In spite of his obvious talent for politics, he has remained upright and honest. On the other hand, as you may well know, he is already doing business with Lord Mortimer. It will be more difficult to approach him. Napoleon Bonaparte was unknown to me until today. He's a passionate young French soldier for whom Mortimer predicts a promising future. Take heed. He is a man of conviction, which, to my mind, makes him potentially dangerous. As for Sarah de Richet, what more is there to say? You already know each other. She was apparently invited by Lord Mortimer about an ongoing matter in Paris that concerns a receiver in stolen art. See you soon. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. All right. I've retrieved everything. A letter from William Pitt the Younger addressed to Emily. The present Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. He only has indeed some powerful backers. Madam, thank you for consoling the Queen. The King's situation is worsening, but I wager he'll recover from this present fit. Next time you speak with Her Majesty the Queen, would you please be so kind as to ask her to look into my petition to raise taxes with the King? I will personally see to it that our nation will recover from this impasse. But King George's mental situation is slowing down our decision taking. Thank you in advance for all your help. William Pitt, Prime Minister of the United Kingdom of Great Britain. Ja gut, dass die Verbindung zur Regierung in Großbritannien hat, war ja schon klar. Was waren das gerade für Rücksätze? Golden Elixir ist voll. Okay, aber jetzt war das schon. What on earth is you mother? How dare you do this to me? You can talk after everything I've done for you. You are joking, I hope, right? I gave you my life. That's enough, Emma. Now that Louis is here, you will leave Sarah alone. Cease your revenge immediately. What? What? If you think you're going to... Louis, help me, I beg you. I can no longer reason with her. I am Emily. Quit playing games. I... What? Honestly, don't be ridiculous. No, I am Emily. You are wasting your time. Louis knows very well how to tell us apart. After everything we've been through together. Yes, well... Don't you dare ja, bring him into sicher. this. This is between you and me. I are... Wenn überhaupt, dann nur, wenn unsere Interaktionen immer mit Emily waren. Aber ich bin mir nicht mal sicher, dass man sich dessen so sicher sein kann, ne? Ja? Nothing more, so stop taking it out on Sarah. I... You pretty little bitch! How dare you! 
Now that I've told you everything, you want to take my place, do you? You are joking, I hope. I'm the one who told you everything that's been going on while you were away. Go on, then. That's what you want, isn't it? You want to kill me? Go on, then. Shoot! After all the trouble I've gone through to find you. Go on. What are you waiting for? Here, Louis, take this. Wait! What's going- An entire life for this. Go on, shoot. Sorry, Louis, I, I can't shoot her. She's my sister. I- That's enough, Emma. Louis, out of the way. She's dangerous. Don't trust her. What are you trying to do? Louis, out of the way. I am not Emma. Come on, Louis, tell her who the real Emily is. Wait, I- That's right, Louis. I'm fed up with this little game. Tell him who the real Emily is. Why do these things always happen to me? Well, Louis, come on, you know how to tell us apart, right? Yes, yes, but I'd like to ask you a few questions to make sure there's no doubt. Rational and open, Louis. Let's see. How can I tell them apart? Wait, I've got an idea. On the night of our arrival... Um... Well, I would say that's my guy. What is my job? This weiß vielleicht auch die andere. Um, who was with us? Who was with us on the wharf? Cardinal Piaggi. He was with us from when we started traveling by ship. We arrived on the same boat. I already told her, Louis. Another question, then. I'm the one who told you. Right. Let's find something else. Ah, uh, yes. Let's speak about my arrival at the manor. Okay, die vor mir hat richtig geantwortet, primär. Dann fragen wir jetzt mal die andere. Who stayed with who? Das weiß ich doch selber nicht mehr. Who was already by the chimney? How did Mortimer welcome us? On the night of our arrival, we were warming ourselves in front of the fire. Mortimer welcomed us in a certain way. What happened exactly? Well played, Louis. Unfortunately, I'm not the one you should have asked that question to. Mortimer did not welcome us. It was Sir Gregory who welcomed us that night. Mortimer didn't show up until two days later. I know that as well. Very well. Let's try something else. On the first night, we went up to bed, but I wasn't tired. I went for a little stroll. Bei meinem ersten Spaziergang habe ich sie da getroffen. Uh did we see each other? Did we speak to each other? Wenn sie miteinander gesprochen hätten, dann hätte es auf jeden Fall erzählt. Did we see each other? Do you remember if we saw each other that night or not? Not at all. Don't think you're going to get away with this deception so easily. I can assure you, you're going to regret pretending to be me once Louis has exposed you. Right. I don't think I'll get very far like this. I'll have to find something better. Oh, I don't think I'll even wait until he's finished. Take it easy now. Are you mad, Louis? Lower your arm. Oh, I better act quickly if I don't want things to get out of hand. Come on, she's... Immun zu question... Uh, immun for questioning, den Rest wissen wir noch nicht. Oh, ich hätte mal die... Putting one over on you. Look at yourself for crying out loud. You were prepared to shoot me down. In the secret room behind the study. Talk to them about what you've been doing. Maybe they haven't spoken about it between each other yet. On the night of the disappearance of Elizabeth Adams. What about it? What do you want to know about that night?
talk about the objects you found. Did she get past the Gorgon? Das weiß ich halt selber nicht genau. Okay, da haben wir nix. Ja. We found ourselves in Mortimer's secret gallery. What did we find in that room? A load of old junk that Mortimer had collected. A so-called Pandora's box in the form of an urn. An old sheepskin that he must take for the golden fleece. The Bible of Judas. Property deeds as old as the hills. And a broken old sword. You are wasting your time, Louis. She already knows all that. Of course I do. I was there. That's enough! I've had enough of this charade. Broken sword? That's not enough. Louis. There's only one way to tell us apart. There's just one thing I didn't tell her about in detail. Too bad for you, Emma. I didn't want it to come to this, but you leave me no choice. Ask her about you and I. You just lost Emma. I indeed didn't tell you everything about it. Come, Louis. Speak about our intimacy. Very well. Let's talk about us. The twin behind me had just said in the room. Also sie hat erzählt, die Pandoras Box, das goldene Vlies, das war wirklich da. Und die andere, die hinter mir ist, hat gesagt, irgendwie die Bibel, da bin ich mir jetzt nicht ganz sicher, und ein Broken Sword. Aber das Schwert war ja nicht zerbrochen. Also ist das schon mal eher so ein bisschen ein Indiz, dass die vielleicht nicht so richtig weiß, was abgeht und einfach aufgesprungen ist auf den Zug. Ähm, also werde ich die fragen. Oh, die ist immun gegen Manipulation. What did you do last night? What did we talk about last night? last night please Louis it's embarrassing you know full well what I did last night I want to hear you say it we spent it together of course what I came to your room after the conference and excuse me if I don't go into the details but I was mightily impressed what did you do look how you are reacting Emma it's not surprising I didn't tell you about my night with Louis you slut that's enough both of you now I know who the real Emily is. Okay. Die Emily hinter mir hat... <lacht> ich sich angucken. Die Emily hinter mir... hat jetzt erzählt, dass sie die Nacht mit ihm verbracht hat. Und die andere war davon irgendwie schockiert und nennt es Slut und so. Also gehe ich schon davon aus, dass sie tatsächlich... Ich hoffe, ich habe jetzt keinen Denkfehler drin, aber dann ging ich doch tatsächlich davon aus, dass die, die mir gegenübersteht, die Emma ist. Ich hoffe, dass es kein Fehler ist. You are Emily Hillsborough. I knew you wouldn't get it wrong, Louis. No! You little bitch! Watch out, Louis! No! Hell, what have I done? See what you've done. See. Wer kriegt da weg? Oder Louis? steht er auf? What on earth is going on? Mother! Go. Die ist auch nicht tot zu kriegen, ey. Everyone's going to arrive. Louis, what's going on? <coughs> Duchess? Is everything all right? Go! Go, Mother! No one must find you here. Go! Come, Louis! There's nothing more you can do! But I... Leave us! Emily, what's going on? Mother, go to the crypt. I'll meet you there. I'll be waiting for you. Emily. Madam, I'm coming in! It was bound to end like this, Louis. Let me stay with her, please. Go, I'll cover you. What? What are you doing there? Stop! God damn it. Now what's going on? Can 
wir was aufsammeln. Genau. Golden Elixier wieder aufgebraucht. Good God! They're all here. They must have heard the gunshot. Where is Lord Mortimer? Can anyone hear anything through the door? Könnt's einfach runtergehen? Oder auch nicht? I was not dreaming, was I? Certainly not, Duke Godoy. What's going on? Someone had the bang coming from the Duchess's room, and she isn't answering. Gentlemen, go back to your rooms. Go back to your rooms. I shall find out from Lord Mortimer what this is all about. Thank you. My instructions are clear, sir. No one is to enter. Na gut. Dann gehen wir mal in die Crypt. So, da sind wir hier unten. Dann müssen wir... Wie waren das? Durchs Esszimmer. In die Galerie und von da in den Garten. Weg noch ein Stück Kuchen essen. Äh. Komm, ist die Bibliothek echt? Na gut, egal. Ähm, sind wir ja da. Garten. Ja, mal schauen, wie ich da hinkam. There you are. Mother, wait, I... Come, we have to be quick. No, wait, Mother, I... Time is running out, Louis. First, we must... No! That's enough. I won't go a step further unless you explain to me what is going on here. I'm begging you. Talk to me. You must trust me, my son. You are not ready yet. You are the one who should trust me. Tell me what's happening. You would never believe me. I came all the way here for you. Now I found you. I'm ready, Mother. If das ist auch dumm, eine dumme Aussage, weil selbst wenn er ihr jetzt nicht glaubt, hat er zumindest die Information und wenn dann Indizien dazukommen oder Sachen, die er mitkriegt, diese Sache stärken, dann weiß er halt den Kontext und er weiß dann plötzlich, okay, es ist doch wahr und kann entsprechend reagieren. Wenn er gar nichts weiß, kann er überhaupt nicht reagieren. Insofern ist es immer sau dumm, nichts zu sagen, weil du glaubst mir eh nicht. Louis, I have always taught you to keep your mind open and rational. Mal ganz abgesehen davon, dass jemand, der einem die nicht erzählen will, worum es geht, auch direkt nicht vertrauenswürdig ist. I know you are going to find this hard to believe, but what I am going to reveal to you is entirely true. Many years ago, I found out that demons really do live among us. I beg your pardon? And that they can influence our thoughts. Mother, listen to yourself. I know you're exhausted, but for crying out loud, listen to what you're saying. Demons? <laughs> what next? An ancient monster with a head like an octopus? What do your demons look like? Have they had horns and a pointed tail? No, these are not creatures with billy goat's legs. Forget your Christian folklore. Imagine them more as parasitic spirits. 
They possess their hosts and direct them from inside. Parasitic spirits? Yes, they are capable of going from one body to another as they see fit. And two of them are present on this island. Right, so let me guess. Boogeyman and Father Christmas. Washington und Bonaparte, das glaube ich nicht. Mortimer, wahrscheinlich ja. Holm. Mortimer und Holm, ich weiß nicht, ob das Sinn macht, weil die ja schon so ein bisschen gegeneinander arbeiten. Wobei es natürlich nicht heißen muss, dass die Spirits auch alle irgendwie den gleichen Weg verfolgen. Wöllner und Godoy. Ich meine, Wöllner hat das Buch gesucht, ne? Aber Godoy? Don't tell me. It isn't Volner and Duke Manuel, is it? Don't talk nonsense. Both of those poor souls are mere pawns in the hands of the real players. I was answering at random, Mother. Do you really believe that I'm joking here? Many years ago, well before you were born, I crossed paths with one of them. Since then, I've spent my life trying to find it again. When we recovered the Alizif, I was persuaded that Von Burchard was working for this demon in one way or another. But I thought he would hand the book to a middleman during this conference. That's where I made an error, an error that could well turn out to be fatal. The one who Burchard was meant to give the book to was none other than the demon in person, Mortimer. Not to mention that Holm had sent Volner to get it for him. Holm and Mortimer are demons? They both seem to disagree about many things, hmm. but I'll admit I never knew exactly why. There are many of them, Louis, not just those two. Mother, have you any proof to support any of this? Of course, but you do too. You had everything laid out in front of you. Didn't you notice anything? His family tree is auf jeden Fall verdächtig. I came across his family tree in his study. An only son. Since the Third Crusade. The fall of St. John of Acre, Louis. The fall of St. John of Acre. Well, those property deeds across the world, all signed by the same hand and over several centuries. I am proud of you, Louis. I found your notes, written in lemon juice. Where all eyes size you up. At one stage, I was so afraid of losing my mind that I noted everything down. Congratulations, Louis. Wait, please tell me you didn't open Pandora's box. The urn? Yes, I did. Why? Too bad. We'll deal with it later. Pandora's <laughs> box, <laughs> Um... Study. I went beyond the nightmare, mother. You understood the Masonic date. 1191. Of course, it was during that siege that the demon took possession of Sir Mortimer. They spent a whole night in conversation until the early hours of the morning. Mortimer had passed the test. He had charmed the demon, and so it chose him to be its host for centuries to come. But tell me. Did you find his secret study? I did indeed. Did you see his maps of the world? He has contacts the world over. Yes, I've been developing the Golden Order across the world for many years, and I've never seen anyone with such influence. It's simply inhuman. I must admit, I found it difficult to understand how and why Mortimer didn't have a place in history. On the continent, Mortimer and Holm are mere dandies who organize society balls. History forgets them with a disconcerting facility. No one speaks about them, and yet they whisper in the ears of kings and presidents. You mean the conference? 
How can you explain that someone manages to bring together so many important figures without anyone knowing? And without any security or personnel. Hmm. Louis, I am proud of you. You came all this way, you found me, you have surpassed me. You taught me everything I know. Right. How did it all begin? I saw him! What, what do you mean, you saw him? I was 20 years old. I was young and carefree. I traveled the world in search of adventure. In the Persian Gulf, we came across an ancient grimoire that became unlocked. Composed of seven parts, each one was a book in itself, set in a sort of metal armor that structured the whole thing. When all the volumes were brought together, they formed a single book. On my return to Paris, I set to studying these pages. I spent all my days and nights studying them. Oh, I can imagine you doing that. But the writing <laughs> was in a language I had never seen before. Developed well before Sumerian, in my opinion. So I got the idea to form a small occult circle composed of all the major names in the occult world to see if anyone else could crack it. And you found no one. And I found someone, Louis. I found him. Or rather, he found me. He was young, charismatic, he was flamboyant. Ich weiß nicht, ob Morty mal jemals jung war. Von Borchardt. Vielleicht, dass der die Kontaktperson ist, die den Kontakt zu den beiden hergestellt hat. Wait a minute, who are you talking about? Von Borchardt? No, no, Mortimer, of course. He was a veritable mine of knowledge. I showed him the book, and he was able to decipher a few passages. We spent several months together studying the pages. He was already old in those days, wasn't he? So you recognized him when you arrived on the island, right? No, he wasn't in that body. But I know it was him. I swear it was him. The way he spoke, his posture, a few of his intonations, his mannerisms. Wait a minute. You were talking about 60 years ago. I I've lost the thread. Yes, sorry. He helped me understand certain passages until I realized that he only translated a few parts for me. But I had aroused his interest. It was too late. How so? I mean to say he manipulated me. He used me, and in the end, he stole the book with all its secrets. Did he ever go to your place? Not once. At least I don't think so. But before disappearing, he proposed a pact between us. He proposed that I follow him and let him teach me, allow him to bring me up. <laughs> Should she cave? Vermutlich. And you accepted. Please don't be stupid. You don't make deals with the devil. Aber sie After schon, dass that, I spent my whole devil life looking for him. Three years later in Berlin, I just missed him. In hmm. London, I lost six members of the order in a chase. In 1741, in Tunisia, I found a sect of fanatics who had crossed paths with him once. 1741, in Poland. 1749, in India. Eight years ago, in Venice. We agreed never to speak about what happened in Venice, Louis. You agreed, and that was before you spoke to me about demons. Wait, the baby we delivered, you and me, that night in Venice, did he have anything to do with Lord Mortimer? The child was his son. We stole his son? Are you insane? I always thought we took him to save him. That was the case. It was precisely to save him from his father. Need I remind you the mother died during childbirth? What became of the child? Later. For the moment, that is not the key issue here. Once we found the Alizif in Paris, I followed Von Borchardt's trail here. I didn't think it would lead me straight to the demon. It was careless of me. He toyed with me for a few days, until I caught on, until I saw him as he was. But he had no intention of letting me leave. We are all his pawns, Louis, and if we don't want to spend the rest of our lives turning round in circles here, we must absolutely get off this island. All right, can we move on? Wait a minute, one last thing.
What happened with Elizabeth? I want to know what happened with Elizabeth Adams. Louis, we haven't time for those details. I'm sorry, Mother, but I want to know. She was one of the receptacles for these monsters. I met her parents when she was born. One of the demons got inside her. The demon used her to spy on her father, John Adams. He is one of the founding fathers and vice president of the United States, you know. Mortimer yep. possessed her? No, I don't think it was Mortimer. Her father, John Adams, hired me to tend to her, but the evil in her was too deep. In spite of the various treatments I tried on her, I never succeeded in getting it out of her. It's not something I'm proud of, Louis, but I had to try everything. Mm, who killed her? Do you know who killed her? Absolutely not. That's natürlich dann so eine andere Frage, ne? Aber die andere Frage ist auch, wieso hat äh, der 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 Ri Ri wie heißt er? Ähm, Peru so ein Beef mit ihr gehabt. I want to know what happened between you and Emily's sister. Great responsibility often brings difficult choices, Louis. That's all you need to know. Mother, I won't take a step further if you don't answer me. You dare blackmail me? I'm listening. All right, I used her. So there you are. Happy now? We had the Al-Azif, and I didn't think we would be able to escape with it. In order to ensure that the book did not fall into their hands, or that one of them couldn't read in us where we had hidden it, I asked Emily to... It's Emma. Yes, or rather for me, it was Emily. So I asked Emma to hide it without anyone seeing. And then I disposed of her. I am sorry können. for her, but she was part of the Golden Order, Louis. She knew the rules when she joined. What did you negotiate about the Alazif with Volner? Absolutely nothing. I managed to pull the wool over his eyes until I found a way to flee. Tja, jetzt hat er es aber, ne? What was going on with the cannons in Tuscany? It was nothing. Since when does the order finance wars? The cannons for that Bonaparte fellow? Listen. Once in the lion's den, I did whatever I could to appear legitimate. So yes, I pretended to be interested in Mortimer's project about a young military man who was seeking funding for a foundry in Tuscany. Between you and me, if buying China would have enabled me to escape, I would have signed without hesitation. Samuel Ritter du Chois. You wanted to send me a letter about Godoy. I wanted you to run a check on Duke Manuel. But frankly, it doesn't really matter anymore now. Godoy is just a pawn like the others. He is not the one I was looking for. On the evening of my arrival, Cardinal Piaggi came looking for you. He was determined to give you a letter. More of his lists. Louis, I think I know what's in that letter, and I beseech you to believe that it is the least of our worries. We can sort that out later. Kleinste der Sorgen. Ist jetzt schon drei, drei Sachen sind schon auf der Liste der kleinsten Sorgen, äh, ganz oben. Are you going to tell me what happened to your hand? Better than that, I shall show you. Good. I think that's about right. We shall speak about it once we get back to France. Great actions for humanity have been decided by demons for centuries, Louis. They are playing with our destiny. We are their slaves. And it's time for it to stop. By the way, what was Mortimer's project at this conference? He demands that the Spanish hand over Louisiana to France. Oh, knowing him, it won't stop there. We should do our utmost to put a stop to Mortimer's plans. But for the time being, there are more pressing matters. Are you going to tell me why we're here? There. That's why we are here. Nazareth, Bethlehem, Bethesda. 
Bis hier unten Jordan, Jerusalem, Golgatha, Abu Gosh. Could have been a witness of Napoleon Bonaparte's resolution. I could have gone through Jack Peru's room to get to the balcony. So, ja gut, alternative Pfade jetzt nicht so schlimm, ne? Ja, vier Punkte. Subterfuge und Science könnten wir hochpumpen. Conviction, glaube ich, wird mir jetzt in Zukunft vielleicht weniger bringen, ne? Ah, den mal voll und ein hierhin in Ermangelung. Reassure me, we aren't going to have to force that one, are we? I don't think we're even capable of doing it. You're going to have to find a way to open it. Why, of course. And what's inside? Something to vanquish them with? Perfect. So, how does it open? We'll need several keys. I found a note from the architect who conceived the mechanism in Mortimer's secret study. We have to first gather five objects before we try anything. Are the five objects the keys? Exactly. We have the Clement III cross, the nails, the Gutenberg Bible, the exegesis of Judas, an armillary sphere, and all we need to match up the dates between the different calendars. Alter. Why a cross? Well, I haven't the foggiest idea, but it just so happens that's what you are going to use to activate the mechanism. I found the one Mortimer kept. It belonged to Cardinal Guibert, better known by the name of Pope Clement III. Perfect. Where is it? Unfortunately, I've lost it. Natürlich. When I lost my hand, I went dashing out, and it must have fallen from my pocket. Remember, Mother, I, I'm certain you can remember. Let me think. You were running. I was bleeding to death. You remember the pain. I thought I was going to faint. Yes, I remember. I don't think it can be far, can it? Would you have lost it outside? No, I don't think so. It must be in the area. I don't remember going up with it. Perfect. I'll search the crypt before leaving. Some nails? Don't ask me. I'm not the one who made the mechanism, you know. When I arrived, there were already a few of them inserted, so I didn't have to worry about those. On the other hand, I remember seeing some in Mortimer's secret study, behind his nightmare. In a golden cup? Yes. Yes, I saw them too. Perfect. Mm -hmm. It will be easy for you to find them then. You need three of them. Very well. You remember what to do about the rollers. 1191 to enter. And 6466 to exit. Of course. Jetzt schreibe ich nochmal auf, dass jetzt irgendwie mal eine Pause zwischen euch habt und es nicht mehr weiß. Exegesis of Judas. Exegesis. Anything else? Hmm. You... Did you manage to vanquish the Medusa? To open the chimney? Yes, absolutely. So you've already come across it. It's the Bible of Judas that is exposed in the secret room behind the chimney. Why do they call it an exegesis? Because that's what it is, and not an apocryphal Bible, strictly speaking. It's the study of a text with a summary, not an actual Bible. Anyway, well done for the Gorgon. You did well. You didn't get tricked by the light bouncing back. Thanks. Do you think I can take it safely? We haven't got a choice, Louis. Without it, we won't be able to work out this cursed mechanism. This is the book in which you left your correspondence with Duchess Hillsborough, isn't it? That's right. You still believe it's in the tower room, don't you? I don't know. There is only one way to find out, though. Right. I shall go and see. There's one in the portrait gallery. 
Yes, but it's enormous. If you don't want to have to go back and forth several times, then I suggest you get a smaller one. What did you do then? I didn't think I'd need one. I started without one, and I lost my hand before I did need one. And you can see the result. Hmm. What do you mean by the concordance of dates, exactly? Don't worry about that. We already have them. They are written on the back of the message I just gave you. Hmm. One last thing before you go. Be very careful. If you come across anyone, they can all potentially be spies of Mortimer or Holm. Don't ever confide in anyone because a demon can slip inside them at any moment. Wait, not all of them though. Take Washington. Especially Washington. He's been conditioned by Mortimer for years. Look at them for crying out loud. How do you explain their behavior otherwise? The most influential politicians in the Western world gather together without the least protection, without a single aid to assist them, to participate in a conference during which the guests start dropping like flies. Me, Adams, Peru, Hillsborough, Look at the number of calamities that have happened over the past few days. And not one of them has asked to leave the island? Do you find that normal? You'll see. Go up to the manor to look for the keys, and I wager not one of them will speak to you about my being in Emily's room. Do you think so? Go on, you'll see. And come back with all the objects in one go. Time is against us. And remember, the code to get out of the secret office is 6466. Gut, okay, also dann haben wir jetzt wieder ein paar Bücher. <lacht> Diesmal habe ich sogar drei. Manipulation, Okkultismus, Erudition, ist sogar ganz praktisch. Gut. Die Frage ist, kann ich mir das merken, wo was ist? Ähm das Kreuz, wo war das? Why a cross? Well, I haven't Ach, das Kreuz lag hier unten idea, irgendwo rum, richtig? But it just so happens, that's what you are going to use to activate the mechanism. I found the one Mortimer kept. It belonged to Cardinal Guibert. Better known by the name of Pope Clement III. Perfect. Where is it? Unfortunately, I've lost it. When I lost my hand, I went dashing out, and it must have fallen from my pocket. Well, otherwise, I can I can always go and see Piaggi. He's he's a cardinal after all. Gut, okay, aber dann machen wir an der Stelle mal Schluss für dieses Mal und beim nächsten Mal geht es dann weiter mit der Suche nach den ganzen Gegenständen. Bis dahin, ciao.